Good evening, one today is Monday, September 25th, 2023, Jeff Date for Tuesday, the 26th. All right, let's go. Well, overall, pretty good day in the portfolio. No new equity highs in here, no new closing highs for the longs, and no new lows, obviously, for the shorts. So no change in the stops. No setups going into tomorrow. I'm looking at a lot of things right now. I'm looking at uranium. Unfortunately, the pot stock stalled. Uh, semiconductors are going to need a little bit more to bounce. And I am looking at those. We'll take a look at some of that stuff in just one second. So there's a lot of things that are kind of happening behind the scenes. When I say there's no setups, it doesn't mean that there wasn't a lot of looking, and as there always is for that. Uh, anyway, you can see quite a few. Uh, anything that's flagged for those new to service is a potential short. But you can see quite a few shorts in here. I'd like to see these semis bounce a little bit more before getting too excited. Also, as you know, already short KBH. But some of these home builders, now that they've kind of made a, a leg down i'd like to see a little bit more bounce in them although mho does look interesting as a possible short and phm's not only home builders it could use a little bit more bounce so i'd like to see a little bounce in these things before going after them just like the energies i'd like to see in a lot of cases a little bit more pullback so i'd like to see a little more pullback in wfrd as i've been saying but that might put us back into this prior consolidation i also like to find something a little bit earlier in the trend but we'll keep an eye on this one just in case, and as I have been with other ones. This one looks pretty good, as I've been saying, but it's got a lot of overhead resistance longer term. You know, maybe a day trade in here or something, but other than that, I'd, I'd leave it alone. Let's take a look at the portfolio, and then let's take a look at the overall market, obviously. Uh, KBH, boy, this one still looks like it's in a lot of trouble. A little bit of a rally, came back in, did end up a smidge on the day, but it looks like it's got a long ways to go maybe 30 maybe mid 30s uh, to high 30s could be the next stop on that one you never seen that one day at a time a little bit of bounce in k and f kind of hanging in there for the most part i like to see obviously the bottom of this range hold in here obviously with an ipo when they start closing at new highs that's usually a really good thing obviously and that's uh i guess obvious is the word of the night <laughs> but that certainly is a good thing as you know and that's what the whole buy a b pattern is based on LFMD almost had a new equity high. If it starts banging on new highs with vigor, we'll obviously bump that stop. Also, if it hits the IPT, we'll bump the stop on that one too. Let's take a look at the overall market. Quite a few things to flesh out tonight. One thing that I think is is probably going to happen, and you know, got to be careful. There's no exacts in markets, as you know. But one thing that I'm kind of seeing unfold is I think we could have the mother of all bounces in here. And one reason I'm saying that, if we take a look at the VIX, you'll see that you can see it did probe higher and came back in. And we're still up here at a real, over 16 at least, 16% away from the 10 simple. So that's stretched pretty far. So let's just see how that gets walked off. If it does get walked off, so to speak, if the market just consolidates and bounce around, then obviously that all gets reset. But from now, for now, I still think we could have the mother ball bounces. Now, here's the deal. I don't think that this is something you should trade unless you're going in and doing something intraday. But I think it's what happens after the bounce that's going to be important. So let's get back to the P's. You can see a little bit of an opening gap reversal today. Not a whole lot to get too excited about there. And we're stuck, obviously, toward the bottom of this range. Still has this head and shoulder top look to it. Unless we get well back into this range, it's still in trouble. So even with a serious bounce, it could still still be in trouble. Let's just wait and see how it shakes out. Uranium, spot uranium, banged out new highs with a little bit of vigor today. So that's a good thing, but obviously we need to get the uranium stocks to pull back a little bit before going after them. Dollar had a strong day, as you can see. Just continues to push higher in here. I guess we have the dog with the least fleas. Apple didn't come unglued, but still looks top. He has been saying, as goes some of these prior... Uh, popular leaders as goes the market likely let's take a look at the nasdaq a little bit of a bounce there but not back above support just yet up about a half a percent these indices still look questionable at best so we need to see a little bit more of a rally there yeah, rusty had an okay day uh, up a little bit in here almost a half a percent but just kind of bouncing in here it just doesn't look great obviously shorter term in a downtrend intermediate term to longer term sideways uh, you don't need a rocket science you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that 
Energy is a little bit of a bounce. They could actually use a little more pullback in here, a little more consolidation possibly, but they look pretty good so far. Just waiting for setups here. A lot of areas not looking good. Foods break it down in earnest. And here you can see these moving averages coming together in here. That's a 50 and that's a 200. Could get a death cross there fairly soon. Financials, a little bit of an opening gap reversal, but looking questionable at best. Drugs, as I've been saying quite a bit, have given up 100% of their breakout. Had a little bit of a bounce today, but certainly nothing to get excited about there just yet. Biotech banged out new multi-month lows, so that's pretty ugly. Lots of overhead supply there. Defense, as you know, has been breaking down as of late. A little bit of a bounce in here. Certainly nothing to get excited about just yet. It still looks like it's a lot of trouble. Manufacturing still looks like a, still looks like a tops in place there. MNC, as you know, been bearish in these guys for a while. A little bit of a bounce there. So overall, it's like each day a new area gets whacked a little bit in here or new areas i should say that just gives you more and more concern but let's just take things one day at a time and see how they shake out unless this is the mother of all fake outs to where everybody just seems like it's uh they're gonna bail out because it's so ugly and it seems like that's what's happening it's kind of sucking everybody into becoming super bearish with with lots of reasons to be if you just look at all this stuff I guess from an empirical standpoint, there's a lot of things that don't look good, stuff that I've been pointing out to you every night for a while. So for now, not so good. For now, sitting on your hands is not a bad thing. Believe me, if you could protect your capital doing less than ideal conditions like now, maybe make a little bit here and there on the short side and then possibly have a few little outliers on the long side, hang in there, kind of like we're doing now, knock on wood, then you could do okay longer term. But less is definitely more right now sorry i went long i just had a lot i want to get out and i'll just i'll keep it brief uh later in the week now that we said all these things everybody have a great night we're talking tomorrow thank you so much